Let me show you how to become a speed demon in Pilgrimed. I know what you're probably saying, why would I want to use a build where the only thing I can do is run around and jump high? And that's where you're wrong, this build is actually really good in PvE, and I've killed every single boss in the game with it. So if you want to fly around the map with ease, kill every single boss, be incredibly tanky and hard to hit yourself, then watch through to the end because I'm going to show you what you need to make this work. And if you don't believe me, watch Old Fart get destroyed by my build. So the reason why I'm doing a video on this is because people in the comments told me to make a video on my build. So if you guys have any other suggestions for me, then let me know down in the comments below and I'll check it out. So the first thing that we're going to start off with is the skill tree. I'm running the base version of Athlete. That makes it so that you reach your max running speed 50% faster. This can be very useful in combat. We don't go for the aced version because we need enough points for the defense skills, since our accessories are not going to give us much defense. We get the aced version of rally which makes you heal on every parry, the base version of resilient which reduces the damage that you take, the aced version of tank which gives you more HP, and the aced version of juggernaut which reduces the damage that you take and also increases your damage. As you can probably guess, all of the speed from this build is coming from the accessories. The the bread and butter of this build is the nightcap. I honestly have no idea how this hasn't been nerfed yet. It allows you to regen half of your health, but in exchange it makes your character freeze in place. Here's the thing that makes it so good on this build though. With all of the speed, whenever you get low you can run out of the way. You'll be able to use nightcap and by the time that the boss gets to you, you've done healing. In the next segment of this video, I'm going to show you how to get all of these items, so make sure you watch that. For the armor piece, we use the Kai Gi. Even though we're not using fists or the set bonus, this armor has one of the best stats for this build. Not only is it one of the two armors that give you an extra jump, it gives you a decent amount of agility, dexterity, and strength too. So for the first accessory, we're using the frog leg. This is what really carries your jump height. Not only does it make you jump higher, but it also pushes you forward when you jump. The scurry boots turn your rolls into a hovering dash. This gives you a lot of speed and allows you to fly forward. The ivory anklet is similar, it makes you spin forward. The celestial ring increases your double jump height, and also allows you to do the scurry dash more often. And the nimbus pendant gives you two extra jumps. So to get the nightcap, we're going to want to go to the cloud city. Talk to this NPC called William and he sells it to you for 1k gold. Make sure that you also get the other items, the cloud pendants, the cloud boots and the air powder, because they're required to craft the other items. At the Cloud City, you're going to want to take the Slingshot to the other island. This is where you'll get the Celestial Pendant, and also the Nimbus Pendant. The Nimbus Pendant requires 5 diamonds. These can be pretty hard to find, so if you can't do that, then use the Cloud Pendant instead. This NPC, which you can reach by using a glider, will sell the Nimbus Pendant. You will also find the Ivory Anklet here, and you'll be able to get it by killing the boss Highway Sun. This boss is pretty cool because he's one of the only ones who can match me as far as speed goes. So as you can see, at the beginning of this fight, I took some unnecessary damage. On most builds, that would be a death sentence, but I can just dash backwards and use my nightcap. With my extra dashes and my jumps, and my lance attack, I'm able to beat him at his own game. I will say that the one downside of this build is that you're going to damage bosses way slower than someone who has a DPS build. But as long as you kill them, I don't see what the difference is. You're way less likely to die using this build than someone who's using a glass cannon build. After you beat him, there'll be a teleporter, and you can go into this building. There will be flying eyes. You can kill this, and you'll eventually get the celestial ring drop. Like the eyes in the desert, they can be killed easily by parrying one of their attacks. For the scurry boots, you can craft them at the observatory. The items that you need are just the ones at the Cloud Island vendor, but you also need a dash ring, which can be obtained by killing the Mondo Squid at Pirate's Bay. For the frog legs, you're gonna have to go to the Deadly Swamp and kill the frogs. This is a pretty rare drop at 5%, but it's a very important accessory to have, so make sure you don't skip out on it. For the armor piece, we're gonna have to kill Kai. I did a part on how to beat him in my fist guide, so go and watch that if you're struggling with the boss. He is at the pirate's bay though, at this little cave in the wall. Beating him in a fight will give you around a 30% chance to get the armor. 
Once you've equipped all of those accessories, you can put this build to the test. For your weapon, I recommend the Prism Lance, but this build is very flexible in what weapons you can use. I'll be doing a video on how to get the Prism Lance soon. This build is really good as long as you know all of the mobility options that are available to you. Remember that the more time you spend standing around in a fight, is more time that another build could have been more useful. So if you want to have a lot of fun and impress your friends, then get used to dashing around the place while fighting enemies. As far as how you're meant to use this to get the maximum amount of speed, you generally want to follow this pattern. Jump once, double jump, press Q, jump again, use your ivory anklet, and then press Q to land. If you time this properly, you'll be going at insane speeds, and you also won't take any full damage. For combat, it requires a lot more intuition, so just practice a lot, and you'll eventually get good at it. As for what weapon traits and gem you want, you either want light on both, or the relentless trait and the insignia gem. The less time that you're standing still to attack, the better. Okay, I think that's everything for this video. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next.